Hi, uh, today I'm going to look at this new Iris software that's uh, been brought out. Um, so I'm going to alternate between the camera and a screenshot. First of all, the Iris software, what is it? It works with the Toby iX controller, which is a cheap controller that can be um, bought from Toby for 99 euros. It's, it's for developers, but uh, um, we can see here it, it can be quite useful to uh, someone as an assistive technology. Um, so today I'm going to use it with Ableton um, to play a few clips. Okay, here we go. This is where you get the software. Um, it's 99 euros. It's the same people who make the Connect, um, the Connect mouse, Project Iris, and that's a X C E S S I T Y dot A T. And there's some useful videos there on setup. So I'm not going to go into the setup too much. I'll do a bit really quickly. So I'm going to set up a few interactions, which is what these are called, interactors. Should I say? I've three already set up. I'll set up a couple now. So this is our new interactor. Let's edit it. We want it. I am editing them so that they all send key presses, and I'm taking the row of the QWERTY keyboard from A to L. Um, I've already done three, so this one is going to be F. Change key, press F. We leave the opacity as it is. I'm going to call this yoga. You'll see why. One. And that's all we need to do there. It's yoga one. I'll just make it a little bigger. I'll put it down here. And I'm going to do that again. Okay, yeah, I'll increase the size of the text using this slider. And I'll just do that for the previous one also. So as I'm just repeating this action, what I'll do is I'll fast forward through all this, just to speed up the video a little bit. So as you can see, when I look at these boxes that we call interactors, they will send the letters that I've assigned to them to whatever program is within, within focus at the time. Let's close this. Okay, and we can uh, hide this. So I'm using it with Ableton today. And I've already made my, my scenes here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the key mapping. I'm going to map each of these scenes to the letters I've just sent. So that's A. Again here, I'll fast forward through all this because it's just a matter of repeating the same step. I forgot to make one of the interactors and um, one extra one, so that's what I'm doing here. To make an interactor for the last clip. And I'll just arrange them so that they're easy to see and activate. I'll just open Notepad for a second. I'm doing this to demonstrate how the interactors send their assigned keys to the program that's in focus, which in this case is Notepad. There's a dwell feature in the settings of each interactor, which I haven't set. So immediately when I look at an interactor, it sends the keystroke. Okay, so you can see all the letters are sending. So now when I'm focused on Ableton, this will uh, trigger all my clips. So this is gonna be um, a pretty rough musical experience.
listen carefully to my instructions. Let's start our session. The triangle movement. One, two, three, four. IX Iris Software. Thanks.